how to transform cassava pea into poultry and livestock feed. Unlocking the benefits of cassava pea in poultry farming. Cassava pea is a byproduct of cassava processing and it is often discarded as waste in many regions. However, with proper processing, cassava peas can be transformed into a valuable and cost-effective feed ingredient for poultry and livestock animals. Utilizing cassava peas not only reduces waste but also provides a sustainable and alternative means to traditional feed ingredients, thereby lowering production costs and promoting environmental sustainability. This video guides and explores the steps involved in processing cassava peas into feed and highlights the nutritional benefit they offer to poultry and livestock. What are the steps involved in processing cassava peas into poultry and livestock feed? Before I go further, let me briefly guide you on the steps involved in processing cassava peas into poultry feed into livestock feed one is the collection of cassava peas after the collection the next step is sorting and cleaning after cleaning you wash properly and dry the third stage is chopping and shredding the fourth stage is after shredding you sun dry again or you use mechanical means of drying the cassava pea to make sure the water content is reduced up to a bearable minimum and at the same time this will drop the anti-nutritional properties in cassava pea. Next stage is fermentation. After fermentation the grinding and milling depending on the process you use. There are two major processes. Either you use the fermentation method or the sun drying method. Then the next stage is grinding and milling. After grinding and milling, you go to the next step that is mixing with other feed ingredients using a very good poultry feed formula. And that reminds me, if you drop it on the comment section for me to develop a very good feed formula using cassava pea. I will do that and the number of people that drop it will determine and at the same time encourage me to go into producing poultry feed formula using cassava pea for starter grower finisher layers and super starters after that the next one is pelletizing if you still want to pelletize the feed the next one that is the next stage and the final stage is packaging and storage Cassava peel has a lot of nutritional components that is beneficial to poultry and livestock. One is carbohydrates. It has high energy content due to the presence of fermentable sugars and starch. It has fiber which is moderate content and which also aids in digestion. It has protein, though very low to moderate protein level depending on the processing method used. It has low content of fat and it also has minerals. It contains essential minerals such as calcium, phosphorus and potassium. It has vitamins also. For instance, vitamin B complex is very predominant in cassava pea. It has anti-nutritional factors, potential presence of cyanogenic glycosides which is the anti-nutritional factor I've been telling you is contained in cassava peel, which can be reduced through proper processing method like drying and fermentation or either of them. Transforming cassava peas into poultry and livestock feed presents a practical and sustainable solution for both waste management and feed cost reduction in animal farming. Through proper processing techniques, cassava peas can be converted into a nutritious feed ingredient that provides essential carbohydrates, 
fiber and minerals necessary for the growth and health of poultry and livestock. In preparing cassava peas into poultry and livestock feed, you must follow all these steps to make sure that the feed you produce will be free from harmful toxins or acidity of the product that can harm the chicken and the livestock. You must have abundance of cassava peas. Gather the cassava peas. Wash them thoroughly and spread them on the sun. There are two major ways you can prepare safe cassava peas into poultry and livestock feed. As I earlier mentioned, one is fermentation method. The second one is the drying method. You can use it to feed both livestock and poultry. When we talk of livestock, we talk of four-legged animals like cattle, ram, sheep, goats, rabbits, fish and rest of them. The first step is to grind the cassava peel after washing it thoroughly. You can see this particular one it has been ground into form that we can now ferment it. You allow it to be fermented for up to 24 hours. After the fermentation process, the next thing is to dry it and grind it. You can see the grinding process going on. You are grinding it to powder to make sure you use it in a way that you can use it to feed the livestock with your own feed formula. You can pelletize it. You can see the pelletized form. If you have a pelletizer or extruder, you can as well extrude it. This is the extruder for fish feed that can float on top of water. This is the mash. You can use this mash to prepare and mix your chicken feed. The main reason for the fermentation is to reduce the acidity of the cassava peel, which can harm the life of your chicken. Now, this is the grinding process after fermentation. How do you ferment it? First, grind them into smaller particles after picking all the unwanted materials, the stones and everything and wash it. You will now grind it into smaller particles with either grinder or you can see the grinding process here now after grinding package them either you put them in a sack bag and use hydraulic pressure to compress all the water out that water contains the acidic part of the product after removing the water allow it to ferment for 24 hours then it will now reduce the content, the water content or the moisture content. The, after the fermentation process, it becomes sour in smell and taste. After the grinding process, you still need to spray it on the sun to dry very well. You can see them, we are spraying them on the sun here for them to dry, to drop the moisture content so that it will not form moist or spoil easily. After then you now bag them, put them in a bag for future use. All these ones now in inside bag. The purpose of bagging them is to safeguard them from unwanted materials. You need to get this machine as a poultry farmer. During the wait period or the rainy season, 
there may not be enough sun to dry it. You need to fry it to reduce the moisture content. Here is the frying process. You need to fry it before you pack them. If you don't fry it to reduce the moisture content, or you don't use heavy temperature or sun to dry them, they are going to spoil easily. So it will not be safe, again, for the livestock animals. That is why they, either the sun drying or mechanical drying with oven, or you fry it as you used to fry Gary for you to reduce the moisture content up to 8% or below. This will guide and at the same time self guide it for proper and future use. If you want to make use of it in feeding your poultry and livestock animals, you must have a very good poultry feed formula depending on the particular breed of bird, either noila, layers, broilers, corollas, turkey, geese, dog, or four-legged animals. You must develop a very good formula. Then, if you don't have mechanical mixer, spray a very big white mat on the floor or leather bag, clean leather bag on the floor. Use your feed formula. Gather all the materials or ingredients that you want to use to formulate the feed. Ingredients like soya bean, corn, wheat, wheat offal, pancane cake, lysine, methionine, animal blood meal, fish meal, and the rest of them. Then mix them properly and make sure that all the ingredients are properly mixed according to your feed formula before you can now use it to feed either your poultry beds, chicken, turkey, geese, dog, guinea fowl, and the rest of them. During the mixture process, please make sure that all the particles are completely from one unit. If it is properly mixed, the aroma will be there, that the attractant will be there to attract the bears so that once you even take the feed closer to the poultry house, all the bears will be jubilating because of that attractant. All those spices that helps the cassava pea can replace maize up to 50%. So in case you don't have enough maize you can use the cassava pea to either supplement or augment the maize in your poultry feed you can even you can even replace the maize entirely to help you to drop the cost of your poultry feed perhaps you have enough of cassava pea in your area and you don't buy it this can help you because the maize alone which is the source of energy and carbohydrate in the poultry feed takes between 25% to 60%. So assuming you are using 60% or 50% of cassava pea in the poultry feed, it means that you have completely dropped the poultry feed cost up to half. You can see the extent this cassava pea can help you. Both broilers and any other poultry birds can consume the feed. You will not even know by adopting this practice after the formulation. Farmers Thank can you. not only watching this video improve their feed and make sure and reduce reliance on traditional feed sources. This is but also contribute to the environmental sustainability poultry and livestock. Embracing the benefits of cassava peel in poultry farming not only enhances economic viability but also promotes a more sustainable agricultural ecosystem. Please share this video and if this is your first time of coming across this channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel for you to get the updates on this particular content and all that video that is loaded. Let this video reach other farmers who are in need of dropping their cost of feeding their poultry and livestock. And if you want me to develop a very good formula using cassava pea, drop it on the comment section. I will do that so that you get a very good viable feed formula that you can use to feed your poultry, broilers, 
using cassava pea and other feed ingredients. Thank you till I come your way with another interesting topic loading very soon. Don't go far. Let's meet on the comment section. Tell me your opinion about the cassava peel. Tell me if it is abundant in your area and if you want a feed formula using cassava peel. Let's meet on the comment section. Bye for now.